Well, all the tools available to traders these days are very sophisticated. Things that weren't even available five or ten years ago, uh, only to professional traders maybe, are, are now available to the retail public. Our guest today is Linda Rashke to talk about some of those tools and how we can implement them in our money management. So, Linda, talk about some things that you think traders aren't using enough of that are available them, to them today to manage their trades. Well, um, we do a lot of research on trade management functions, and honestly, you can take a random entry and add a, a correct trade management strategy and turn it into a profitable strategy. If you did it 100 times, you'll have a positive expectation. Whereas if you take a, an entry, a well-thought-out entry, and add a random exit structure to it, uh, you'll, you'll implode the system. So really, the emphasis needs to be on the trade management functions, how you're exiting, what your initial risk is, if you're managing the trade, if, you, if you're going to play for a target or trail a stop, uh, really is going to make or break your bottom line, much more so than the entries, in my opinion. Although, with that said, initial trade location is important because uh, that's going to determine your position sizing. If you have tighter risk point, you can put on more contracts. So some of the tools that are available to us now that weren't really available available to us um, a couple years ago. Naturally, with the execution platforms, I think just about all of them, you have the ability to do OCOs, one cancels the other, bracket orders, and trail stops. So for example, you can uh, you know, make sure that when you put in your order, you have an initial stop, and then as price moves up uh, n number of ticks, your stop will pull up n number of ticks. So that's a uh, foundation there, very good departure point. And why that's important is because a lot of times I find that traders uh, get distracted, they're inattentive to their positions once they're on because they've already used up so much energy focusing on getting the position on that they're easily caught off guard if there's a sharp reversal or something like that. So at least it's a safety net working for you. Um, with that said, I think that you can take it to another level. And uh, I know that we have this now on the Photon platform all automated. I'm sure that other platforms will too. Um, I'm not familiar with all of them out there, but the technology is certainly there where you can uh, put in your trade, put in an initial stop. Then if it moves X number of units, your stop's pulled up to break even. Then if it moves a little bit more, it'll start to, start to uh, trail a relatively tight stop so that the moment there's give back, it's going to take you out. But you're giving it some initial room to start working in the beginning. So it's a complex algorithm, but you don't have to do anything except hit the button to enter. You see, so now it makes the game fun. As humans, we're really limited uh, by you know, discretionary resources. It's almost you know, limited amount that we can do or setups or markets to follow. So now at least you can turn it into more of a numbers game. You can do more trades. You can follow more markets. You can find the good spots, but then let the uh, trailing stops or these money management algorithms take over. And um, I, I think that's really exciting. People don't realize what the technology can do, what the programming can do. And uh, lastly, it's really important also because uh, the speed with which the markets reverse and trade. You know, you've got other algos out there working uh, for um, high frequency trading, and you'll see things executed. I'll see things executed on my platform before I'll see them trade on the screen or on the chart. It's just that fast. Um, and so, uh, you know, the big boys have all these uh, high frequency uh, little uh, algorithms uh, that they work constantly all the time. And these are available to you too. Uh, you know, even the entry algorithms, iceberg orders, although it's probably not something that a, a, a retail person is going to be as interested in using, but um, they're available, you know, and you don't have to have your own server. You don't have to have your own uh, black box. Uh, it's point and click and then let the machine take over. And you mentioned position sizing. Can you also then determine, tell the software, I want it to, if it reaches this price, take half off and that sort of thing? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, again, I, on my platform that I use, I have a complex, you, you, can, uh, you can scale out and say, uh, you know, I want an exit uh, on a fixed target for this piece and I want to trail a stop on this piece. Um, we even have algorithms where it'll add, you know, where if, the, if it's a breakout and it starts running, it'll buy, buy, buy and add in smaller units and start trailing stops on each of those. So in other words, a breakout trade that's working, you're actually doing an initial little pyramid and getting bigger. If it doesn't work and it's a false breakout, you're not going to get real big. You'll get stopped out and it'll be a small loss. So it's like if, if you have studied um, you know, martingales or anti-martingales or all different kinds of concepts of money betting strategies, you can use these now in your trading. And it's, it's cool. It makes it fun. Linda, thanks for your time. You're welcome. You're watching the moneyshow.com video network.